it's uh, in the middle of Christmas and New Year 2018. Um, I have been given a nice present off Sharon's mum for Christmas uh, that I'll, I can use when I'm going camping. So I'll show you where it is and then um, we'll um, take it from there. Right, it's a, cast, a small cast iron pan set and griddle. Uh, uh, TNA camping, I don't know who that TNA camping is. Anyway, it's got a little pad here that usually in the bag it sits between these like this. Oh, some are similar anyway. Some of them rubbing more than hotels. I thought it might have been a mat that you could put it down on, but um, I don't think it is. Like it. It's got two handles as well, one for each pan. So just matter of going like that and lifting it up. As you, uh, if you've ever used cast iron before, you need to wash it and season it. So I think we'll do that next. Right, try and get any uh, possible uh, oil, shipping oil, if you want to call it that, off the thing before we even think about uh, doing anything with it. Ah, we don't. Now I've washed all the uh, the uh, manufacturer's oil off, if there's any on that is, uh, we're going to season it outside of a tour at the moment, we're going to season it, season it outside the backyard. Um, I've, uh, I can't season it in, in field, or I can't cook in field at the moment, because uh, I've not been well. I've had a couple of weeks of, uh, I think, flu of some kind, so I'm slowly recovering. It's uh, a little bit shaky. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, season these... Uh, these pans. Uh. Well, you see, I've loaded it up now. It's somewhat similar to a Swedish torch style of fire I'm going to set. Right, I've got these. Uh, what they call tinder sticks. They're just uh, they like cardboard soaked with some kind of petroleum, I think. Well, they should work. They'd work before. Oh, that should get in.
Right, that's enough seasoning. I'll let them cool down a little bit, wipe them out, and then uh, I'll do some cooking on them. Well, while I've um, seasoned the pans, burnt one a little bit, um, I've just put some more twigs on the fire just for get going a little bit. It was dying down. <clears throat> um, I would normally cook some bacon on something like that to try it out because it, it cooked quite quick, but I've not got any bacon at all. So I've got some um, turkey breast steaks. So I've got one piece here. What I'll do is I'll cook one on one pan and cook the other one on the other one. As you can see, it's uh, pretty thick there. It's a good three quarters of an inch. Let's see if this is a uh, cook through. <sighs> Certainly has. <laughs> oh, mmm, very. Right now, I've cooked that uh, turkey steak. I've decided to cook something different on the the pan itself, and it's going to be uh, an egg. Right, I'll let the embers die down to just a nice glowing heat. Uh, it's dead hot, so I'll cook it on top of this. Well, all I can say is that um, that um, cast iron frying pan and skillet, uh, a one person one really I suppose, is very good indeed. Um, they're called TNA Camping and I think I got it from China. I actually ordered it just before Christmas and it come, well, what day is it today? Saturday after Christmas. Uh, so it's not took that long, maybe a week just over. Um, so it shows that the pan can actually cook at quite high heat and it can cook at quite low heat and well you know with cast it basically spreads all the heat over it itself anyway uh, and I must admit it's really good um, the steak about uh, just over like three quarters of an inch thick took less than five minutes to cook and the and the um, and the egg to Two, three minutes on a low heat. Not bad, really, to be honest with you. But yeah, I think it's worth. Um, it's well worth. Um, it's a. It was a present actually. Um, I will try this out more in the field when I get out there and I get a bit better. Um, <clears throat> but generally, I think it's all right. The only thing I suggest, if you can't clean them up uh, when you're out camping or something like that, is probably taking some little thin bags, just so you can like put them back in, uh, then put the put this in between just to stop them clanging about and obviously scraping each other and maybe possibly breaking and uh, clean them when you get home if you can then clean them on when you camp if you can it costs 24.99 including postage so that's not too bad actually um, so I think I'll use it more often when I uh, when I go camping anyway I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas which is just just gone and a happy and prosperous new year. So hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See you again then.